In today's video, we're going to show you a hidden setting on the Peloton Bike Plus that will allow you to control and adjust your resistance by simply swiping up and down on your screen. First, we have to enable developer mode on our bike. To begin, tap the settings button at the top right of your screen. Next, click device settings in the drop down menu that appears. You'll then want to click into System, followed by About Tablet. On the new page that you see, scroll all the way to the bottom where you see Build Number. Tap on that line seven times and Developer Mode will be turned on. When you go back to the previous page, you'll now see a new Developer Options menu. Once you enter Developer Options, you should see a menu item for Gestures. After clicking it, you'll see two options. You want the one for Peloton Gestures. The new screen has a single option called Enable In-Class Gestures. Turn this option on. Once this is done, you can click the Peloton logo at the bottom of the page to return to the main screen. Now, with this new setting turned on, when you are doing a workout, swiping up or down with two or more fingers on the screen will adjust your resistance in increments of five. Swiping up on the screen causes the resistance to increase by 5 points. Swiping down on the screen causes the resistance to drop by 5 points from wherever you are. You can swipe pretty much anywhere on the screen to control the resistance as long as you are using two fingers. This feature works with auto follow mode both turned on and off. You are still able to adjust your resistance as normal with a resistance knob at any point as well. This new setting doesn't disable anything, it just adds the extra feature. Swiping up or down with only one finger on the screen will have no effect on your resistance. It must be two fingers or more. Doing a long swipe all the way from the top to bottom of the screen, or vice versa, will not cause a bigger jump than five points. You still have the ability to double tap the center of the screen to hide all of the pop-up windows. Even with all the windows hidden, the swipe method still works to adjust your resistance. Just because this new resistance control option is available doesn't mean it will be used by that many people. It's normally easy enough to turn the resistance knob by hand, and with the Bike Plus, some people will be using the Auto Follow Resistance feature. One big use case we see is if you use an accessory like a spin tray that makes it harder to access the resistance knob. You are still limited to changes of plus or minus 5 resistance points through the screen though. However, it's nice to have the extra option now for people who would like to use it.